Miami-Dade County, under the leadership of Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, is moving swiftly to expand COVID-19 vaccine distribution to protect our community and move our economy forward. Vaccine supplies are currently extremely limited, and as the state provides more vaccines to the county, we are working hard to distribute them as fast as possible. Register for vaccine updates and get more information at miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Get vaccinated, Miami-Dade County. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. Miami-Dade County, under the leadership of Mayor Daniela... Welcome in WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour here on this fine first Thursday of October. I was, we are moving forward with the, the semester at Frost quite nicely. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, pleased as always to be joining you here on this fine Thursday morning. Every Thursday from 11 a.m. until 12 noon, we bring in some of the premier ensembles from Frost, as well as some new situations made by different faculty uh, and students that are not officially affiliated with the school, but here this morning, we have one of the long-standing ensembles at Frost gracing the Jazz Gallery Live and Direct, the Art Blakey Ensemble. Really looking forward to this performance. We have Janelle Finton on trumpet, Austin Muthiala on trumpet as well, Dylan McCann on tenor saxophone, Donald DeStefano on piano, Nolan Slate on alto saxophone, Aidan McCarthy on bass, and a good friend of mine, Chandler Bogomolny on drums, rounding out the ensemble under the direction of the ubiquitous Brian Lynch, who I'll have the uh, great honor to speak with a little bit later in the program. <laughs> but for the current moment, I think we're just gonna start with the music. So coming up first, uh, a Walter Davis Jr. composition entitled Uranus.
the Art Blakey Ensemble, live and direct here on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. That's Nolan Slate on alto saxophone, joined by Janelle Finton and Austin Muthiala on trumpet, alongside Dylan McCann on tenor saxophone, Donald DeStefano on piano, Aidan McCarthy on upright bass, and Chandler Bogomolny rounding out the ensemble under the direction of Brian Lynch. Really excited to be putting on this program here this morning. I also want to thank everyone that donated to the station during our fall membership drive. We had a very successful drive. If you were unable to donate during the time of the drive, we still are accepting donations at this time. You can visit WDNA.org. Support live programs like this, the FIU Music Hour, also starting up a new program live at MOCA here at WDNA. So a lot of exciting things in the works, but we are, as always, in need of listener support to maintain our programming so that we can continue bringing it to you uh, on a 24-hour-7 basis. Uh, so now as we move forward with this program, first, actually, I want to mention as well, coming up next Tuesday on the 12th at 7.30 uh, in Maurice Gusman Hall, Cecile mclaurin Solvant will be coming down to Miami to perform alongside uh, Sullivan Fortner, our guest pianist, alongside Kate Reed. She'll be directing a really exciting program honoring uh, the music and life of Antonio Carlos Schobim, of course, one of the most important figures in bringing over bossa nova tradition over to the United States uh, back in the late 50s and early 60s. So really looking forward to that program. Once again, that's October 12th, this upcoming Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Uh, in the Maurice Gusman Hall. And you can visit frostmusiclive.com to get your tickets right now. That's frostmusiclive.com. And with that, we're going to step back to the music here. You're listening to the Art Blakey Ensemble, live and direct on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM.
You are listening to the Art Blake Ensemble live and direct here on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM, or perhaps you're listening on WDNA.org. Either way, very appreciative for your support. Uh, every Thursday from 11 a.m. until 12 noon, you bring in some of the premier ensembles at Frost, as well as some individuals who have a connection with Frost. They bring in some of their ensembles. Really exciting program here. Uh, I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, pleased as always to be joining you, and a very special morning uh, here today as we have uh, someone that I look up to so much. I've played quite a lot of his music on the air here at WDNA. Uh, Brian Lynch, thanks so much for, for being with us here this morning. It's a great pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, absolutely. This is a really exciting ensemble. It is. I mean, this is always, um, you know, special um, for me to coach this ensemble and coach this music because, of course, I was a part of Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers and um, still to this day maintain um, relationships with a lot of, the, of uh, people that have played in the Messengers in, in various groups and, and um, things. In, just came from a tribute gig, Art Blakey gig in Northampton, Massachusetts last Saturday, for instance, with uh, Bobby Watson, who's, some of whose music you'll be hearing in a little while, Robin Eubanks, Bill Pierce. Um, so the fraternity of, of the messengers um, is still thriving today, though there's not a lot of us left, but there's still a good deal of us left. So um, this music has a lot to offer in terms of, I think, you know, uh, grounding young musicians in the classic style of this music. And, um, you know, and, and it's a real, which makes it, it's it a real enabler in terms of, you know, bringing that sensibility into their own music. And just as um, my own music as a leader was very much uh, influenced by my experiences in both Art Blakey's group and in Horace Silbert's quintet, which I also played in, um, I'm hoping that these students' experiences in this ensemble will help them in the same way. Absolutely, yeah. And, and you kind of mentioned what I wanted to talk to you about. There's a lot of ensembles uh, across the world that focus on Art Blakey, but I'm not sure how many of them can boast a director that actually played with the Messengers, of course, like you mentioned, you having played with uh, one of the last iterations of the group. And, and you kind of touched on my question, which would, was going to be how that translated into leading this ensemble. But I guess to, to jump to uh, a little bit of a step beyond that, when leading this ensemble, are there any specific concepts or tunes that you like to work on every year, or how does that how does that work out? Well, you know, I mean, the classic repertoire I think is is key. I mean, you know, things like Blues March, which we'll be playing next, and uh, along came Betty, um, you know, you know uh, Monin, things like that. That you know, kind of that we associate with arts group. Um, I'm a big fan of Walter Davis Jr.'s music, so playing tunes like Uranus that you heard first, and also there's other tunes of his that um, that I like to uh, introduce to the band. Um, you know, there's so much music. I mean, also, I feel like that um, that some of the music that was played in latter eras of, of the Messengers and some of the, like say some of the music of Terrence Blanchard or Donald Harrison or Mulgrew Miller in the, in the, in the, in the early to mid 1980s and, and, and the music of, of people like Jeff Keezer and myself in, from the last band in 1989 and 1990, um, you know, can be both looked at. Um, there's a, Donald Brown's music is, is very important to me, the pianist Donald Brown, and, and some, we'll be looking at some of that music, I think, next up in, in rehearsal. Um, there's, you know, the difference between a lot of uh, arts band and a lot of bands is that he, he wasn't a composer himself, so it was a real workshop for composers to hear th their music interpreted the way that it was supposed to be. He, Art said himself that you won't even recognize your own music yourself after we get through with it, after he got through with it. He was, he was the master orchestrator of the music and also writing music for somebody with such a strong and definite 
rhythmic concept and a concept of, you could say, orchestration through the drums, I think, is something that really, really, um, you know, it's like, um, it's like fulfilling a, you know, a, a, a very, a very creative and fertile constraint to write music that Art Blakey would want to play, mm. you know. So, yeah, I mean, the, the Wayne Shorter's music, of course, of course, the music of the great music of Benny Golson, and but there are so many eras of the band and Freddie Hubbard's music, um, you know, it goes on and on. Absolutely, yeah, thanks so much for sharing all that. Uh, you're listening to WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. For any of you guys just joining us, uh, we have the Art Blakey Ensemble live and direct in the Jazz Gallery here this fine morning under the direction of, of Brian Lynch, who him, he himself played with the Messengers uh, in the late 80s. So a great honor uh, and, and pleasure to have them with us here this morning. We're going to step away briefly for some messages from the station and come back to the Jazz Gallery with some live music in just a few moments. Back to Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi. We have the Art Blakey Ensemble live and direct here in the Jazz Gallery this morning under the direction of Brian Lynch. We have Nolan Slate on alto saxophone, joined by Janelle Finton and Austin Muthiala on trumpet, Dylan McCann on tenor saxophone, Donald DeStefano on piano, Aidan McCarthy on upright bass, and Chandler Bogomolny rounding out the rhythm section on drums. And I think we're just going to move right forward with the music. But first, I want to mention one more time Coming up next Tuesday, October 12th at 7.30 p.m., Cecile McLaurin Solvant will be gracing Maurice Gussman Hall, so be sure to get your tickets at frostmusiclive.com. She'll be joining the great pianist Sullivan Fortner under the direction of Kate Reed, uh, someone near and dear to the Frost family. One more time, that's this upcoming Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. in the Maurice Gussman Hall. Cecile McLaurin Solvant will be honoring the music and legacy of Antonio Carlos Jobim. So you can go to frostmusiclive.com and get your tickets today. And with that, we're going to move forward with the Art Blakey Ensemble and the Tune Blues March.
Blues March here live and direct on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour, as performed by the Art Blakey Ensemble, coming from the Frost School of Music under the direction of Brian Lynch. We have Nolan Slate on alto saxophone, joined by Janelle Finton and Austin Muthiala on trumpet, Dylan McCann on tenor saxophone, and the rhythm section Donald Stefano on piano, Aidan McCarthy on upright bass, and Chandler Bogomolny on drums rounding out the ensemble. Uh, and I also wanted to let you listeners or viewers know, if you're checking out the live stream on livestream.com or youtube.com, that next week we're going to have uh, Shelley Berg coming into the Jazz Gallery, so a very exciting program, uh, always an honor when we welcome him into the Jazz Gallery. And, and then the week after that, the Daphnis Prieto Artist Ensemble will be here on October 21st, uh, Daphnis Prieto uh, really an incredible composer uh, and visionary, so very excited for that performance as well. But we still have some time here uh, this morning for the rest of the program. Uh, Brian, I, I wanted to ask one question before we go to the last couple tunes. You were talking earlier about the fraternity and the camaraderie that exists within the community of people that are connected to Art Blakey and his music. So as that relates to leading an ensemble like this, what do you feel, is there a specific lesson or, or set of lessons that you feel are particularly important to impart on the students that come from the philosophy of Art Blakey, or what's your thoughts in that well, regard? Well, I, I, I think it's just mainly by my osmosis. I mean, when, when rehearsing this music and playing this music, you know, and, and then in, in my coaching, you know, definitely a lot of experiences kind of automatically channel themselves. So I, you know, I, I share some of the, some of those experiences, you know, within the within coaching the tune and and you know and and also try to give a sense of how performance practice on on certain compositions that we may know from the recordings evolved over time and things like that. But a lot of it is just is just kind of imparting some of the, you know definitely. Anytime, anytime I deal with this music, whether it's teaching it or playing it or both, at the same time, you know, it's like I get I get some of that feeling back, you know. So it just it really, it really evokes an incredibly important time in my life and experience, a very, you know, very seminal experience. And and um, and you know, I think I think with nothing else, the enthusiasm that I have for the music, this music maybe comes through help hopefully helps oh it certainly does yeah it certainly does so for any listeners or viewers interested in in listening to this ensemble do they have any uh, other performances coming up and then also speaking on on your own uh journey as an artist do you have any records or, or things coming out that you want to mention um we don't have anything set now but we're going to try to get some more things happening because this group is is, is outstanding yeah. and um i think that that uh, they've, we've made, you know, everyone's, everyone sounded great coming in and we've made great strides, so we need to keep this thing going a little bit longer. Um, so hopefully we'll, um, we'll concoct a few, a couple other performances. For myself, I have a new record coming out October 15th, um, and be on the lookout for it, and I believe, hopefully they will be playing it on this very radio station. It's called Songbook Volume One, Bus Stop Serenade, and it's, it's the first volume in a series of uh, recordings on my own label, Holistic Music Works, where I'm re-recording all the original music of my own that I recorded for other labels during my career, which is kind of a long one. So, <laughs> so I've got a, I've got a lot of uh, work to do to to do to do that one. But this one, um, this one it features Jim Snydero, Orin Ev the great Orrin Evans mm -hmm. on piano, Boris Kozlov on bass, and uh, Donald Edwards on drums. And we're going to be doing a couple of performances up north um, and to introduce this record at the Deerhead Inn in um, Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania, and also at Smalls in New York City. And um, going to be, I'm doing some recording while I'm, I'm up there too, so I have a new project um, f um, that, that I'm working on that's funded by the Knight Foundation that I'll be doing the recording for while I'm up there at the end of this month. So that's Very what's exciting. happening with me. Very exciting. So, is that the the debut release from your label? No, I've been, I've been, I'm celebrating my my uh, tenth year. Wow! Congratulations. Of this, of this label, and um, 
please check it out at, at Holistic Work, Music Works, H O L L I S T I C MusicWorks.com, and you can you can check out the catalog. Not just my music, but other artists as well. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So for the listeners, mark your calendar, October fifteenth. Got a new record coming out from from Brian Lynch. You right. can be sure that single uh, dropping on 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 October eleventh. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So even sooner, <laughs> and you can be sure that we'll be playing it here on WDNA eighty eight point nine. So Brian, thanks again so much for being here, sharing your time and, and some of your wisdom. Uh, and to mention the ensemble one more time, we have Nolan Slate on alto saxophone, Janelle Finton and Austin Muthiola on trumpet, Dylan McCann on tenor saxophone, Donald DeStefano on bass, Aidan McCarthy on upright, or excuse me, Donald DeStefano on piano, Aidan McCarthy on upright bass, and Chandler Bogum only rounding out the ensemble on drums. Uh, I think we have time for, for one more tune. So Brian, what are they going to close out with? Oh, Curtis Fuller's Alamode. And I think we're going to get a little bit of the theme at the, at the, at the, we'll segue right into this as we transition into the news. <laughs> 